Merry Christmas. See what I did there? Merry Christmas. From the Wizarding World of Harry Potter here at Universal Studios. Today we're checking out all things Potter Christmas here in the Wizarding World in Diagon Alley. We'll probably pick up some butterbeer, uh, but you're gonna wanna stay through the end of this video to find out which version of butterbeer is my favorite. And if you wanna catch where that reference came from for Christmas, you're gonna have to wait until the end of this video so that way you can see our full interview. It was amazing. but. Make sure that you've hit that big old thumbs button before we get started, that you hit the subscribe button and your notification bell is rung. So come along for the ride. Let's go. First things first, it looks like King's Cross Station and Diagon Alley is getting festive here for the holidays. And if you're not quite certain how to access Diagon Alley, well, that's okay. I'm gonna take you right through. You have to get through all the bricks here through the entrance way. Once you come straight through there, you're in here. This is Diagon Alley. Ew, I can't get a good picture of it, but this is like the Weasley's puking pastels. <laughs> okay, let's go into the Weasley's shop because they are all things magical and fun there. Weasley's Wizard Wheezies is meant to be more of a whimsical toy slash trickster type store. So you can see lots of the Pygmy Puffs here. You can actually adopt them here. They have a whole ceremony when you adopt them but they're made for all the kinds of jokes and trickster type things that you know the Weasleys for, like the fainting fancies right here. Orange and lemon fruit gummies, nosebleed nougat. Oh no, 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 that's, that's not fun. <laughs> but yeah, you can check out everything through here. It's like a ginormous kid, like big kids shop. And they've got a small selection of apparel this way. Here you see Gringotts, which is actually a ride escape from Gringotts. And then you've also got all the wonderful shops right here on Diagon Alley. So everything you need to go back to school at Hogwarts. Oh, are we gonna catch her? Oh, she was rumbling. Does anyone happen to know the dragon's name? Whoa, that was amazing. I love it when the dragon is able to breathe. Right on cue there. If you happen to miss the dragon breathing fire, don't worry. She usually does that about every 10 minutes or so, so you can take your photos and kind of station up here around Diagon Alley and then be able to get that perfect photo, perfect video. This is it. This is Ollivander's, so this is where you can come in for the wand experience, but I have to let you know that you just wanna watch the wait times and go as early as possible, because again, this is a very popular location. Everybody wants to be able to pick their own wand and go through the wand experience, and it, as you can see, it can back up through the day. Um, before, when they did the reopenings for the parks, just after the closures, they actually were taking virtual queues and would cut the lines off at the rest of the day, so you wanna be aware of that soon.
There's no commitment to actually buy the ones, but it is a really neat place to check out. Now, Universal also runs special promotions every once in a while where if you purchase so much merchandise up to a certain amount, then they'll give you a new free interactive ones. And there's just been something released about Universal releasing brand new designs for interactive ones here soon. So we'll definitely have to pick up one of the new ones and check that out soon. Now you can't go back to school without your school robes, so we have to go and get our school robe attire on. Oh, they've got Christmas caps already, got headbands, socks, ties, coin purses, and bags. Check it out. If you are looking for an all things clothier store, this is it. And during the holidays, they even have some embroidery options available to you. So you can see like this Gryffindor scarf it has Maureen's name on it. And then they've also got bags personalized, even stockings. So it's a very great gift to give for the holidays. Now robes are not the only thing they sell in here. They've also got lots of apparel. They've even got Hermione's dress from the Yule Ball. They have jewelry available. And as you can see, not totally terribly priced, but you can buy all these things. Look, we've got picture frames, hats, jackets, pillows, even sleepwear. Now this is something they've been able to do for a while, so you don't actually have to wait until the holidays, but they can actually embroider your name on your school robes for you if you have a preference for that. You'll just have to ask and there's a little bit of an upcharge. Oh my goodness, like how gorgeous this is. It's so magical. I love how it changes too. You look amazing. <laughs> that was adorable. So the talking mirror here, once you are fitted for your robes, you can stand in front of here. She's gonna tell you exactly how great you look. Now because it's the holiday season, you can actually get the sweaters that Mrs. Weasley knitted for all the boys. You can see Harry's here and Fred's. I believe they even have Ron and George's as well. Oh, these are adorable. Look at all the bags personalized too. I feel like I might have to get my kids one of these. And of course they have all four house colors. Okay, now we're closed. We've got our wands. I'm assuming that we'll pick up our books a little bit later, but no look is complete until you went into Shutter Buttons right over this way. If you haven't ever had the chance to visit Shutter Buttons before, I highly recommend it. So it's an immersive experience. Once you're completely closed out in all your house robes, you can stop over here, especially if you have a Wizarding World of Harry Potter package through Universal Studios. A lot of times, the shutter buttons portraits come included, but they'll come over here and take the interactive photos with you. So you can see several backgrounds that they'll superimpose you into. They'll also collect you for a couple of other poses and you may even have an epic wand duel, but you can only ever get those photos here at shutter buttons. Now another really cool thing here is right on the corner they have Florian Fortescue's ice cream parlor. So if you're looking for some kind of off the wall flavors, and even butterbeer flavored ice cream, you're going to want to check out Florian's. Uh, today's suggested flavor is Earl Grey and Lavender. I was talking to someone yesterday and one of my friends said that she's had the Earl Grey and Lavender and loved it. They're also recommending the sticky toffee pudding, but I don't know if that's my favorite either. I love these little pop-ups. These are so fun for these window displays. Mine's a little long for here for Florian's right now, but they have hand scooped ice cream. They've got soft serve ice cream. They can even come in these souvenir cups here. So you can get a hot fudge sundae, peanut butter sundaes, caramel sundaes, and you can have different kinds of toppings on them as well and choose your own kind of cone. But we'll have to come back for this a little bit later because we've got so much to pack in. Now it is not uncommon to come out here and see everyone out with their wands. So the cool thing about these interactive ones is you're going to have some team members around here, professors teaching you how to use your wand, how to use your magic. And you'll also know them by these designated markers on the ground. Let me see if I can show you this one. So there's a designated gold marker right here on the ground. So you want to stand around there, perform the wand command with your, your wrist. And then you can do things like light up the lights back here at 
flim flams or make it rain right in here in front of the restrooms. So pretty neat. And just off the side of this though is Nocturne Alley. So we're gonna go down that way just a little bit. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. There are butterbeer carts galore over there in Hogsmeade, which is the other side of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter where um, the Islands of Adventure takes over. But normally this is not near as packed for butterbeer as the opposite side. But I do have to make mention they only have cold and frozen butterbeer right here and then several other beer options. But it's a really great place to stop in and get butterbeer or even in a souvenir cup to take home. You gotta watch out because things can take a super awful dark turn down here down Nocturne Alley. This is where some of our more shadier conveniences kind of hang out. You can see the Naga Knots. You can see the talking heads right there. This is awesome. Oh, they're gonna sit there and sing. Let's keep going. <laughs> we can't stay. Morgan and Burks is here, so if you're into all things, maybe a little bit more dark arts, this is gonna be the shop for you. They got tons of apparel, really great merchandise and keepsakes to pick up. So I highly recommend checking it out in there. Uh, and you don't actually need a wand to go in and interact with a couple of things in there as well. So Ooh, it's so dark in here. It's really hard to see, but there are different places to cast spells here. You can see the skeletons. Once you cast a spell, you can actually make the skeleton move to your movements as they're seeing right here. There's a couple of things through here, like moving pictures you don't necessarily need a wand for. Can you see them through here? And then just outside, there's a Skelegro uh, wand interaction that you can do and perform some magic that way and repair someone's skeleton bone with their arm. There's gonna be a couple different ways that you can come out of Nocturne Alley. So you can actually exit two different ways out by the bathrooms and by that butterbeer station that we were talking about before. But the opposite side is right next to the Leaky Cauldron. So this is actually the entrance to the Leaky Cauldron. It's one of two Harry Potter dining locations. This one over here in Diagon Alley is going to be the Leaky Cauldron. Obviously the other one in Hogsmeade, which is at Islands of Adventure, just a train ride away. If you have a park to park ticket, it's gonna be called the Three Broomsticks. I personally prefer the Three Broomsticks a little bit more, but if you have a Wizarding World of Harry Potter package, as of the recording of this video, a lot of the times those are add-ons that you can add on for breakfast here at the Leaky Cauldron, or sometimes they're included in with your package, so it's definitely worth comparing what you're looking at in terms of how immersive you want these experiences in the Wizarding World to be. Here's a quick rundown of what you can find here at the Leaky Cauldron. They got fish and chips, banger sandwiches, which is like mashed potatoes, especially chicken sandwich, plowman's, bangers and mash, toad in the hole, cottage pie, shepherd's pastry pie, fisherman's pie, mini pie combination, beef lamb, and Guinness stew, and Irish stew. And if none of that sounds good to any of your kids, <laughs> they have a whole selection of fish and chips, mac and cheese, cottage mini pies, and yes, they do serve water, sweet tea, wizard's brew, and butter beer. If you're a sports player or if Quidditch is in your future here at Hogwarts, you're definitely going to want to check the Quidditch shop out. So you can get Quidditch jerseys here. You can even have your name imposed on the back of them just like they have in the movie. Oh yeah, same. Right here on the uh, shirts and the sweatshirts. Uh, just ask about it. There is a small upcharge to be able to put those on the back of your jerseys. And yes, they even have youth sizes, so don't throw a fit because I know the little kids get all the cool things, but they do have adult and youth sizes. If you're looking to get your treats and desserts on, look no further than Sugar Plums here. This is the sweet treat shop over here in the Universal Studio side, but they have all kinds of pastries, chocolate things, sugary options, fudge even, no melt ice cream, which is really kind of just a big huge thing of sugar, and a cauldron cake. Oh, those look divine. We've not even fully made it around Diagon Alley, so there's actually a separate exit this way if you don't wanna go in the way we came with the uh, separating bricks. The hopping pot is gonna be the go-to for butterbeer. It's where I can actually get a hot butterbeer, which is my personal favorite. You can even magic here at the water fountain and it'll spurt water. And then they do several different shows over here like the Tales of Beetle the Bard. And then we have actually Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees performing her Christmas time spectacular here intermittently through the holiday season.
Now it's time for the phone call. Audience participation. Well, as they say, the more the merrier. So let's pass the Christmas bell together, shall we? Globus Mundi is the travel agent shop, which I know several travel agents like to hop into and pick up their own souvenirs here. But this is just a, kind of a general souvenir type store. Kind of takes you around picturesque versions of where you're gonna uh, actually visit here in Diagon Alley, Hogsmeade Station. They've got a couple of souvenir options for those things and you can pick up these reusable bags too. Check out how awesome that house made luggage is. I'm so jealous. Oh, and the Middle Earth things. I love these things. They've got the night bus, they've got Hogwarts Castle, then they've also got the Hogwarts Express in the color version and in a solid silver. But of course, there's a bit of a difference between the size and the pricing between the two. We're getting ready to come up on one of my favorite places to stop in here. So if you hadn't had a chance to already, make sure you give it us a big old thumbs up and then you hit that subscribe button and that your notifications are on because I guarantee you you're not going to want to miss this next thing. Oh my gosh, check it out. So we're getting ready to exchange muggle money, regular money, for a banknote here of the Gringotts. And it's something that is accepted all throughout Universal Studios, not just here in the Wizarding World. But it is amazing. It's such a fun, cute souvenir that my kids absolutely enjoy and makes it fully an immersive experience, especially when they're going around and buying their own souvenirs with these banknotes. Check it out. So you can buy different kinds of, like, bank bags here. I think this is just chocolate coins. Then they've got the goblins here. Then they've got a coin purse. Oh, this is really neat. Here, just for like a, a card holder. Oh, very cool. Look at this coin set. So it's $35 plus tax, but you can get certified Wizarding World Harry Potter Gringotts coins to trade. That's really, really neat. I wonder if the goblin's gonna talk to us today. He might be too busy working. Now just keep in mind if you're planning on exchanging currency, they only come in increments of 10s and 20s. So you want to make certain that you're aware of that before you actually go to exchange them so you don't have any surprises. Definitely stop by and check it out. And then I think that they're getting ready to change off with Celestine and Warbeck soon. If you heard me mention Harry Potter and the Escape from Green Gods earlier, then this is exactly where you would come. It's only a 25 minute wait right now, so that's why the mornings make such a great time to come in and be able to adventure and explore and then also ride rather quickly because this is a very popular ride and only grows increasingly popular throughout the day. Okay, so we've got our butter beer, we know where to eat, we've gotten our robes, Hopefully, we've gotten our picture taken in our robes and our wand, but where do you pick up a friend? So we have to have a familiar, right? We have to have a nice little pet friend, and I know the perfect place. The Magical Menagerie. So this is where you can pick up your own version of a magical friend. They've got unicorns, they've got cats, they got dragons, they got hippogriffs, they got owls, they've got platypus. They got it all. So whether you're a fan of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter or Fantastic Beasts or maybe even both, you won't have to worry too much because you can find something for everybody in this store and they're usually very, very small and fluffy. 
and that's it. That's all things Wizarding World here that's going on with all the Christmas decor around Diagon Alley here at Universal Studios. We're just a hop, skip, and away from the um, King's Cross Station. That's where you can catch the Hogwarts Express bus to go over and cross over into the other park. You will need a park-to-park -park ticket to be able to do that. Um, but check out this next clip. I mentioned earlier that it was Happy Chris bus to you. So you're gonna wanna see our interaction with the night bus and the shrunken head here. And I'll go ahead and put that in right here. So I have to ask, right, we had a question. Listen up. what is the night bus and specifically you shrunken head? What are we doing for the holidays? What are your plans? Holiday plans. For what? Right. For the holidays. Christmas. What holiday? Yeah, it's a winter time holiday. What holiday are you talking about? You know, put up a tree, mistletoe, mistletoe something. Yes, I am missing a tool. No, no. I'm missing a couple of tools. What holiday are you talking about, girl? Christmas. Oh, Christmas. We celebrate. No, no, we have Christmas. Christmas. Yes, I, I love it. Merry Christmas. See, that's, a, that's, that's my holiday. Christmas. That's it. Christmas. I see all my Christmas carols, you know. What, what song do you know? Silent I boost. Holy I boost. I love it. Love we it. wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And I hope your tires are good next year. Come on over there. You celebrate Christmas. That's it. Yeah, I'll have to come celebrate with All you right. both. <laughs> some tires. That's right. It's customary to bring good tires. Bring, bring good Christmas tires. Yeah, good it. tires we bring tires, for you, shrunken head. Some shock absorbers. <laughs> there we go. All Anything right. For the boss to make it less bumpy. That's I right. will do that. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> have a great day, y'all. Right, well, you have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you guys on the next ride. Bye, everyone.